Hey guys, what's up? It's me, PKQ. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you this um, binary to 7 segment display converter that I made. So it takes in an 8 bit binary number like this one here, and it converts it to 3 7 segment displays like this. So you can get numbers up to 255 like this, and all the way down to 0. And it basically just represents whatever you have here. Um, and it does it pretty well. And the way I did this is I started with these small. Um, chips and this converts four bits of binary into the seven segment display um, seven pins for each um, each uh, thing and I'm not actually going to use the dot because um, my computer can't even do decimal numbers right now and I'm not sure it ever will be able to um, but basically yeah it's just using these chips and then the, all of these chips control one of these displays and these chips get fed by this chip which converts 8 bits of binary into 3 4 bit numbers so you've got your first um, display here your second display here and your third display here so if we were to put in a number like well let's just do 255 which is all of them then we get a 2 here a 5 here and a 5 here you can see this because it's got 1010 one, zero, which is 5 1010 one, zero, which is 5 so 5 5 and then zero one zero zero, which is two. So five five two, and then if you read it backwards, it's two five five. And to make these chips, all I did was go into Window Combinational Analysis, and then put in your inputs, put in your outputs, and put in your um, table. And it took a while because on this chip I had to do two hundred and fifty five combinations, but on these ones um, there's only sixteen combinations, and you can you only have to do sixteen, not 16 times 3 because each one of these is exactly the same. So as you can see here I've got my 4-bit binary to decimal, that's these ones here, and my 8-bit to 3 times 4, so 3 4-bit numbers, and that was that one there. So what I can actually do right now is I've saved this as its own file. Um, I think, yeah, I called it decimal display. So if I go out of this one and I go into our computer circuit, and the main, you can see this is our computer. Let me get rid of this AND gate demonstration. Yeah, so this is our computer right here. And um, what we can do is we can actually import the decimal display as a library. So if we go into project and we click on load library and logism library, we can actually click on decimal display and it will end up right here as a library. And we can put in the main and we have our input but I don't have it actually set up for using as an out uh, using as a full on chip so we need to go back to that other one over here and make it so that these also get outputted so what we can do is we can just take the top part output it into a pin and the the top has uh is it 11 no 12 12 outputs yeah, 12. And then copy this. Uh, not, I didn't duplicate it. Control D. And then bring that down here. And then connect that to this one. And then it needs tw it needs 9. So put in 9. There we go. And we'll also have to copy these and bring them over because, well, I'll just copy this uh, pattern. Which isn't that complicated, but it is a little bit complicated um, so let's uh, save this and go back over to the other one and it, we might have to refresh it or yeah we will have to refresh it so save open reset computer that should refresh it now if we go to main and bring that, that actually if we bring that to the top yeah there we go so it'll start in main and then we bring in our decimal display there we go, it's got two outputs. So I'll just bring this down so we can see everything. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to take it over here to our output, where we built a proper output, and I'm going to get rid of this, put it right, uh, actually I'll put it closer down here so we have some more room. I'll put it right here, and then we can wire up our, LR, our seven segment displays. So we just need three of them. So we'll put them, um, let's put them, um, where should we put them? 
here? No, I need. I might need some room on the right side of the LCU. I'll put them right here, because that's a nice place. So Control D, Control. That's not what I wanted. It looks weird. Control D, and that's it. So now we can grab our um, splitters and put them like that, and press the down arrow, and then the they both need fan out twelve. Is that right? And then connect it up. There we go. And then this one needs to have a bit within of 12 as well. Because the top one doesn't have the decimal point. The top one is just these four um, segments. And so it needs all 12. The bottom one, however, only needs 9. Because 12 minus 3, which there's three decimal points, is 9. So now we can wire this one into here. Yeah, it is going to look weird. And that's because... Um, we need to fix it and make it go backwards. So 0 is now 11, and 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, and then 0. Now we get the top part of a 0. Now we need to do the bottom one, so we can just copy this, Control C or Control D, and then bring it down here and press the up arrow. Oops, that's connected there now. Unconnect that, um, and then quickly we need to make it right-handed, and then put it here, and then connect it up here to the other side. And yes, it does have 12 right now. So the bit within needs to be 9. There we go. Now we're seeing some zeros, but we're also seeing some decimal points. And that is because we don't have this quite wired up right. So it needs to be 11, 10, 9. Right? It's just going backwards. But then it skips down, it skips 8 and it goes to 7. And that will just get, it should get rid of a decimal point. It's not going to work yet because we have nine or we have seven twice and some other numbers so seven six five then three two one just like that now we have all zeros so in theory it should be working now so i have a quick program loaded up that just adds nine to sixteen i think yeah nine to sixteen and then it adds it and it outputs it so we should get 25 here in our output if we run this program so let's try it just manually ticking through 24 let's see here is there a problem with this um let's go to uh can we can we go here into our main yes we can so ba what we have here well let's try putting in 24 so 24 is uh, 1, or 25, we have to put in 25, so that goes 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, it should be a 16 and an 8 and a 1, we get 25, so let's look back, I might be doing something wrong here, is it adding, um, let's see, F in hexadecimal should be 16, or is it, 15 it might be 15 um yeah i think it is 15 because it's i'm in hex it's 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and then a b c d e f no it is 16 um well let's see if our register d is outputting 18 and that in hex is um let's see here 18 uh, I wish I was better at this. That's a zero zero. Isn't that just eighteen? It. I think it might. No, it can't be just eighteen. Uh, let me look up a simple hexadecimal record, uh, decoder here. Hex chart, maybe that will work. Hex chart. Um, and let's find one that I can read. Uh, this one, let's see, so if we're looking at decimal value, uh, well, decimal, oh wait, let me just look up hex 18 to decimal. He 
hex h e what is twenty four? So what's hex f to decimal? Um fifteen. Oh, so it's not adding sixteen to nine, it's adding fifteen to nine. So yeah, it should be working just fine. Let's try something a little bit simpler. So let's add um let's add seven to whoops, I need a zero first. Zero seven to a. So seven plus eleven. Is that right? Um let me look up hex a to decimal. That should be eleven. Uh hex system da da da, da. Doesn't even say zero A maybe. Zero A. That's ten. So it's adding ten to seven. I want eleven. So it must be a ca okay, I think I get this now. So try zero B. So seven plus eleven. We should get eighteen. So let's try resetting the program and ticking back through. Eighteen. Perfect. Looks like it's working just fine. So yeah, this is basically our new 7 segment display output. Um, it's very handy so that you can easily read the output without having to decode a binary number or a hexadecimal number, which is, in my case, that's pretty hard. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye!